Red Kite Flutes was started by my husband in 2007. It was really just a garden industry, a cottage industry. It really gave him um, some life. You know, he was in a bad way um, through some things that happened and it, it really gave him um, a rebirth, if you see what I mean. Um, and so he started producing Native American style flutes, predominantly made um, of English words, because we had a, a connection with a friend who cuts trees down, uh, plates them, dries them, and produces woods in the UK. And it gave us a really nice access to wood that you wouldn't ordinarily get out of the, in other places. So, so another thing about our woods is quite often we will recycle woods. So we have woods that come from um, church pews or recycled out of buildings and stuff like that as well. So we try to make sure that um, where we can, we will recycle woods as well. So this is an ash. Um, this is interesting from our perspective because the ash was actually bought for my back gate. So we made a back gate out of the ash, and this is the leftover ash for the back gate. Um, we don't stain any of our woods. So the two, the two red is paduk, um, a tonal word, so like singing sticks or um, glockenspiels. Um, they're red as well, and that's generally made out of paduk, so it's a tonal word. So the paduk would come from, I think it's South America. Again, ash again. This one here, which is an E-flat, um, is a beautiful English cedar. If you smell it, you get that nice cedary smell that was used for warding off um, moths in the old days when they, when they used to use it for lining drawers and wardrobes for that reason. So you have that beautiful smell. This is a particularly nice piece of English cedar because of, you've actually got the, the knots in the wood. So we try to use all of the words. So a lot of our words have, you know, character within it because we, we try to use all, all of the part. This is much softer than the ash, so it will make a more open sound when you play it. The denser the word, the crisper the sound. The softer the word, the more open or hollow the sound. This one here is the most interesting from my perspective. It's one of our rarer words. Um, it's made from 6,000-year-old bog oak. It came from um, the Lincolnshire Fens. And again, my friend would have sourced the wood from the Fens, went to get it, cut it, dry it. Now, bog oak is notoriously hard to dry because of it's so full of, you know, it's been soaking in peat for 6,000 years. It's just full of moisture. So it tends to move, split, crack. And so to get pieces of wood this big and this dark, is, is very difficult. Um, I'm going to compare this cedar. So um, this is cedar, the same key as the bog oak. So you can hear the difference in the woods. It's a much more open sound. Another one we have here is called Wellingtonia. Um, so this, or giant redwood. This is traditionally um, an American wood, but they started growing them in the UK in around the 1800s to line the estates, um, the driveways. So when you see these big, big trees lining driveways, quite often they're giant redwoods, which are Wellingtonia. And the heartwood has this beautiful red color. The sapwood is white, so sometimes you'll see a white one, which is the sapwood, and in this case, the red part is the is the um, heartwood, and it's very mellow because it's very light compared to the others. Um, we have two more woods. Uh, this one here, which is very special, 
in as much as it's sported. So this is made of beach. So this is the sporting. And basically it's just where the funguses that are growing through the wood when it's been left meet and it creates a black line. And on the back here, um, you can see. So it's basically the wood is just starting to rot. You know, ordinarily you wouldn't want this, but um, this has been stopped just before it affects the integrity of the wood. So, you know, the wood is still good and um, it just creates this beautiful pattern going through it. And that's why it doesn't look like your chopping board. So your chopping board would be much more uniformed in colour, but because of the, the decay process, you get this um, beautiful patination on the wood. And lastly, you have oak. So this one is a mixture between oak and ash. I think I said earlier, sometimes we use two different woods. And the top here is English oak and the bottom here is English ash. So again, this is the leftover from my back gate, and this would have been produced from my friend, Mike Hawthorne. Key-wise, we go currently from a high C, which you have, in fact, I think we do produce a high C sharp, but we don't have any recently. So, so from a high C, and the lowest flute we produce is a low A. Um, we tend not to do so many extreme ends, you know, so the, the C's and the high C's and the low A's, um, we tend to do um, less of. Um, but then, then they then have um, the American scale, which would traditionally would have been five holes. Okay, so you wouldn't have, traditionally from the Native Americans, it wouldn't have had that sixth hole in it. In it. Most people don't play from sheet music. Most people play from what they feel. Or we, we say we play from the heart. So because of, you can play any note in any order, you can just make the music up. So. As long as you keep to the pentatonic scale, which is just one finger off at a time, keeping this third finger down on, or the way I say is no gap. So if I'm going to put a finger on, all the ones above must be on with it, no gaps. But basically, Europeans influence, they want more notes than the pentatonic or natural scale. And so... Which means you can play more European type music. Which isn't on the pentatonic scale, but it would fit more with European type style music. Um, so it's various for different people. Quite a lot of the people buy them for their own therapy um, because they are just so easy and to play. Um, people just want to play for themselves without having to think about music or anything. I mean, I, that's, that's how I started playing because if I had a stressful job, I used to pick up the flute, lie in my bed and just play. <laughs> <laughs>